Travis Scott is an extremely well-known and successful rapper. However, he is not only a lyrical genius, he also produces music and has his own record label, Cactus Jack Records. Beyond his career in the music industry, Scott has partnered with multiple massive franchises to produce insanely popular products. He partnered with Nike and designed clothes and shoes for them. He also recently partnered up with McDonald's to sell his famous Travis Scott meal, which racked in millions for McDonald's and the rapper himself. Travis Scott has shifted beyond only writing, performing and producing his own music, and became an incredibly successful businessman as well. Although he doesn't look like your typical businessman in a suit, sitting behind a desk, he has proved just how smart and driven he is when it comes to expanding his wealth and career. In today's video, we will cover different aspects and delve into the behind the scenes of Travis Scott's lavish lifestyle. Stay tuned to find out more. Travis Scott's net worth. First of all, let's dive into Scott's net worth because I know you all want to know how much this guy is worth. As of 2020, Travis Scott has a net worth of over $50 million, making him one of the highest paid rappers in the world. Many believe this number is closer to 60 million due to his increase in popular collaborations during 2020. For one, the rapper partnered with McDonald's to release the Travis Scott meal, which included a quarter pounder with bacon, cheese and lettuce with a medium fry and Sprite that became extremely popular, especially since it was blasted all over the popular viral video app, TikTok, which only increased the number of sales. The rapper also partnered with Fortnite, the wildly popular multiplayer online game. In April 2020, Scott hosted multiple free virtual concerts on Fortnite with around 27 million fans tuning in over the three-day event. Not only was this great publicity for the rapper, but it also boosted his merchandise, Cactus Jack merch, by an insane amount, only contributing to his growing net worth. Scott continues to grow and expand his brand, snatching up many lucrative opportunities. He has a very strong eye for following the current culture, which has worked very well in his favor. Scott's early life and rise to fame. Although Scott may be extremely wealthy now, it definitely hasn't always been that way. Scott was born Jacques Berman Webster II, but quickly changed his performing name to Travis Scott for various reasons. He was born in Houston, Texas, and grew up living with his grandma in South Park, known as a high crime area, until the age of six. Following this, he moved to Missouri City, where he lived with his parents. He went to Elkins High School and then enrolled at the University of Texas, San Antonio. However, he never graduated university as he dropped out sophomore year to pursue his dream of becoming a rapper. Once he had dropped out of college, he formed his first ever music duo, The Graduates, with one of his longtime friends, Chris Holloway. The pair released their first EP on MySpace way back in 2008. This EP wouldn't gain the pair very much success, and in 2009, Scott formed another duo with his schoolmate, OG Chess. The pair called themselves The Classmates. The duo released two singles together. However, once again, they did not seem to go anywhere. Scott soon moved to New York City to try his luck and grow his music career. This only lasted four months as he was frustrated with his lack of progress and decided to finally move to Los Angeles, where he crashed on friends couches while working hard on producing new music. Scott found a lot more success in LA, and his career began to take off. For a few years, he released mixtapes and performed at small festivals back in his home state. However, in 2015, he dropped his first ever studio album titled Rodeo, produced by Hustle and Epic Records. The album featured incredibly impressive artists with the likes of Kanye West, Juicy J, Sway Lee, and Justin Bieber, just to name a few. The album performed very well, making its way to number three on the US Billboard 200 chart. Quickly after the release of his first album, Scott dropped his second studio album, Birds in the Trap Sing McKnight, in 2016. It became a quick success, making its way to number one on the US Billboard 200. That same month, Scott signed a very lucrative deal with Universal Music Publishing Group. His music career continued to grow, and followed was incredible success and fame as a rapper. He collaborated with fellow artists Drake, Kanye West, Lil Uzi Vert, the Weeknd, SZA, and countless more. He's also a music producer. He's produced hit tracks with Rihanna and on Kanye West's Cruel Winter album. After this, Scott's career has continued to skyrocket, making way for new opportunities and collaborations, leading to his 
his 50 million plus net worth he holds today. Lavish Mansion. In June 2020, Scott dropped 23.5 million in cash. Yes, you heard that right, in cash, on a huge, lavish mansion in the uptown suburb of Brentwood, a wealthy neighborhood in Los Angeles. You're probably wondering what his house looks like and consists of, and you just wait. The home sits on top of the Los Angeles Hills and holds every luxury amenity you can think of, and a few that you probably didn't know existed. The luxury mansion covers 17,000 square feet with a futuristic feel and look to it. Fitting for the astronomical wrapper, the house consists of several luxurious bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and three powder rooms. The amenities include an underwater sound system in the infinity pool, a 610 bottle wine cellar, a movie theater, a modern state-of-the-art gym, a 300 square foot green wall, and a lower level entertainment area fitted with a full bar, pool table, and much more. Spread out across three large levels, the home has been described as a true triumph in design, crafted for its residents and guests to live a healthy lifestyle and enjoy special moments. According to Santiago Arana, the managing partner from the agency who sold the property. Now this isn't Scott's only lavish property. While he was still dating famous social media star Kylie Jenner, they went halvesies on a 13.5 million dollar Beverly Hills mansion, which they still co-own till this day. Relationship with Kylie Jenner. Speaking of this relationship with Kylie Jenner, the pair lived a very extravagant, wealthy lifestyle together. Paired with their young daughter, Stormy, the pair met at Coachella in 2017 and began dating soon after. Through Kylie being a makeup mogul and wildly popular reality and social media star, and Scott being a world-renowned rapper, the pair seemed incredibly different but seemed to click straight away and also began building an empire together. The couple welcomed their baby daughter, Stormy, less than a year after beginning their relationship. Although the pair seemed extremely happy and in love over social media, things weren't what they seemed behind the curtains. Scott and Jenner had an on and off relationship following the birth of their daughter. It seemed as though the pair were just on very different pages the majority of the time. Kylie reportedly wanted more children and to build a family life while Scott was at the peak of his career and really wanted to focus on his music and growing his own empire. A source told Hollywood Life that Travis was getting antsy not going out more now that Stormy is older and he wanted to live the life he has afforded himself and be out and about more. Though Kylie is young and wants to go out herself, she is also a wonderful mother and wants to live her life as a family. The source continued to explain. He really likes focusing on touring instead of chilling with Kylie and Stormy. Not that it isn't fun for him, but it is something he doesn't always want to do. Kylie doesn't like Travis not wanting to be there more often doing the family thing, and that was one of the initial strains that brought upon the breakup. Not only were the pair not spending that quality family time together, Jenner claimed that the spark they once had was just not there anymore. We wanted to highlight this relationship as it was and still is a huge part of Travis Scott's life, and although both parties are extremely wealthy and successful, they are still normal human beings who go through rough times, and not everything always works out in their favor. Sometimes chasing your dream and chasing success can mean other areas of your life are often neglected and forgotten in the shadow of fame and success. This perfectly describes Scott's career and how it drastically impacted his family life and relationship. Touring. As you can imagine, for a popular artist like Travis Scott, touring and concerts is a huge part of his career and a very lucrative part as well. From September 2017 to September 2018, Scott earned a cool 20 million from touring, record sales, and his Nike endorsement deal. That year alone put him among the top 15 highest paid rappers globally. Between June of 2018 and June 2019, the rapper tripled his earnings, making 65 million from his Astro World tour and all the merchandise that came along with it. This tour is often all Travis is known for today. Between June 2019 and June 2020, the rapper made 40 million from all of his collaborations and successful albums and tracks. Although touring was out of the question due to the global health situation ravaging the entire world, the rapper still managed to make an insane amount, an amount we can only dream of. It is clear this is still only the beginning of Travis Scott's career. He continues to evolve and elevate himself, delving into many lucrative opportunities outside of his music career. Scott has an insane amount of influence, with millions upon millions of diehard fans scattered all across the globe. We can only imagine how much the rapper will earn once he is able to go on tour again. We predict in a few years, Scott may join his ex-girlfriend, Kylie Jenner, landing a spot among the world's billionaires. And there you have it. A look inside Travis Scott's lavish
lavish lifestyle and how he was able to obtain this lifestyle in the first place. We hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one.